Morning, dear friends. It's Fisher here. Today we continue with our beautiful stories, The Power of the Spirit by Alfred Hoss, also known as Freddy in the book. Today, Bruno is telling Freddy a story about her, his experience with a lady. And Bruno began, began to say, I recently received an invitation from a family that I know well, and I knew that the woman of the house put a great deal of importance on outward appearances. When I went in, the entire house actually seemed to be spotless and in order. I then put out my wallet and began to count my money, which is usually not my way. As I did so, the ten fennec piece got away from the rest and the road and road and under the carpet. As I sat about looking for the coin, the woman of the house wanted to prevent me from doing so, and she said, horrified, Ah, oh, but, Mr. Gruning, please do not trouble yourself. I have quite enough small change, and I will willingly give you more than that shabby coin that is rolled away from you. And Bruno said, That is not shabby coin. That is my ten fennec piece, and I would like to have that particular coin back, and no other. And Bruno sat and stood up and lifted up the part of the carpet beneath which the coin had to be lying. And while Bruno was raking out not only his coin, but also the mark that had been swept under the carpet, in which Bruno did actually did then find the ten fennec piece, and the woman of the house buried her face in her hands and sobbed, Ah, Mr. Groening, why must you always see and know everything? It was only the rush day that is responsible for this. Since when you called two hours ago and said that you were going to visit us, I made a star on the housework at once. The time flew past, and just as I was sweeping the room, I saw you already standing at the front door. As I did not want to keep you waiting, I simply swept the sweepings under the carpet. Yes, I had had any idea about all that with the coin, and then... And Bruno naturally interrupted her flood of words, as he made it clear to her that she sh should not only do the housework when expecting visitors, but that every house has to be cleaned regularly. She should regard her neglect today as a lesson for the future. Yes, dear friends, how often we do that? We sweep the dirt under the carpet. And then we worry about that tomorrow. How often we do that? And basically, Bruno just pointing out very, very important message. So first, is often as human beings we pay attention, and then put a great deal of importance on our appearances. But how about inside? How about inside of us? Yes, we look handsome, we look beautiful. Outside, how about inside? Do we have a loving heart? Do we have a kind heart? Do we have a a peaceful, calm heart towards ourselves and others? All outside we look beautiful, and inside we will look ugly. You be the judge. You be the judge, dear friends. What is in your case? Are you the same from inside out? Oh, you have many masks you have to wear every single day in front of people. You be the judge. As the, in the old saying, I remember what Jesus said: "What made inside is what made outside." And and I believe that's when he talked to the Pharisees. You guys only clean 
the cup outside. You do not clean the cup inside. You only talk the good, but you do not do the good. Dear friends, how often we do the lip services? We go to the churches, we go to the temples and mosque, whatever, whatever the things,、uh, whatever the religions we believe, whatever the ideology we take. How often we go to a place we sincerely, sincerely embrace the idea, or we just pretend? Okay, so, you know, my mom and dad has been going to the church for a long time, and I go to the church too. I don't know why. And then, even though when I was there, I only pay my lip service. I go there because everybody else does. I go there because, not because I really want to go there. And how often we're dealing with different peoples at work, at home, in front of families, and then we got all different colors, different colors when we deal with people. And the inside and outside are not the same. How often we sweeping the dirt under the carpet, like in the old time. When our, when I was in the primary school, we have、uh, quite a few students. We always study right before the exam. We did not, we did not like to study during the normal days. But one week or two week before the exam, we hurried up. We want to be good, have a good mark, so we don't get open embarrassment from our parents and our classmates and our teachers. So we only pay attention because somebody else is watching us. Somebody else going to exam us. So that's why. And then we just put up a quick a show and hurry things up and hope we'll get over our exam. Finger cross, pray, do whatever. That's often what is happens, dear friends. And now I know that lots of people, lots of us, we all do this, sweeping the dirt under the carpet, and then the dirt build up, and then there will be cockroaches going around everywhere. So every day, and Bruno here use a house cleaning as example. Every day we clean our house, we clean our body, we have a shower. How often do we show our heart? How often do we clean ourselves inside? No mentioning. How often do you detox your body inside? Do some liver detox. That's a, always a question for us, dear friends. You have a shower to clean your body. What do you do to clean your soul? I wish you have a good day, and God bless.